Mes chers amis, je suis très heureux de passer un moment avec vous. My dear friends, I am very glad to spend a few moments with you in these difficult times that we are experiencing. In addition to the virus, which of course continues its course, we have now riots erupting in various parts of the world to trouble the peace of the nations. After his resurrection, our Lord Jesus Christ appeared numerous times to his apostles, to the holy women and to the crowds, and our Lord is pleased to repeat to his apostles as a greeting and a wish, Pax Vobis, may peace be with you. Our Lord, the Prince of Peace, has advised us to keep this peace, to live in peace with others, and to make no difference between anyone from any race, for it is a message of love that he has brought to us on this earth. We must all be, each and every one of us, instruments of peace. First of all, within our families, with the persons that surround us, at work, with our neighbors, for this is the duty of the Christian. Love one another, told us Jesus. With no distinction of race, class, belief or gender, in short, let us love one another without any distinction. Saint Augustine, speaking of Christian peace, tells us that it is serenity for the soul, tranquility for the mind, simplicity of heart and it cannot be separated from charity. If we are instruments of peace, we shall be at peace with ourselves. Peace also means tranquility of the mind. The devil, this prince of darkness and prince of lies, finds pleasure in casting us into trouble. This is what he is currently doing through these riots. My friends, peace finally could not exist without charity. He that does not love cannot experience peace. Loving God with one's whole heart, with all one's strength, loving one's neighbor without excluding anyone, these are necessary elements in order to have Christian peace. Hatred, a spirit of vengeance and jealousy, Wickedness, calumny and slander are incompatible with Christian peace. This is just obvious. Peace, how many benefits does she grant us? Here below it is the principle of happiness. No one could enjoy happiness without peace, for peace means support in trial, fortitude in duty, relief in suffering and an inspiration in sacrifice. Thus, in Holy Scripture, we are often told about peace as being the first of all goods and the foundation of every other good. David in the Psalms invites us to obtain this peace through every effort. Seek and look for peace, he would say. This peace, the angels in Bethlehem have sung about it. They announce it to the world as being one of the effects of the Savior's nativity, peace on earth to men of good will. Jesus, when he commissions his disciples, tells them, when you enter a house, first say, peace to this house. Furthermore, as we have heard in the Gospel, Jesus announces this peace to his apostles on several occasions and on the very day of his resurrection as fruit of his redemption. This peace, the apostles wish it to the early Christians and Saint Paul has praised it to us in most beautiful terms. He says that it comes from God, Pax Dei, that it surpasses the sweetest things which we can feel in this world, that it is the guardian of people's intelligence and hearts. And in Isaiah we read, Peace is the fruit of piety, the impious can never secure it. My friends, listen and understand these words from St. Augustine 
and you will see how the saints have held Christian peace in great esteem. This is such a precious gift, says St. Augustine, that among perishable things here below, none is more agreeable to hear, none more enviable to desire, or finally none is better to find. My friends, submitting to God's law, this is therefore what brings us peace and peace with God, peace with our neighbor, and peace with ourselves. Et la paix avec Dieu, la paix avec le prochain, et la paix avec soi-même. Observing God's law procures peace with one's neighbor. Allow me to end up reminding to you the simple prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make of me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is offense, let me sow pardon. Where there is discord, let me sow unity. Where there is error, let me sow the truth. Where there is doubt, let me sow faith. Where there is despair, let me sow hope. Where there is darkness, let me sow your light. Where there is sadness, let me sow joy. O oh, Master, adds St. Francis, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in forgetting ourselves that we find, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born again to eternal life. C'est en mourant que l'on ressuscite à l'éternelle vie. My dear friends, there is nothing more urgent than praying to Mary, whom the Church proclaims as Queen of Peace, for wherever she goes, she brings the peace of her Son, Jesus. In all confidence, let us pray to her, and pray to her a great deal, with holy rosary beads in our hands, for many times in her apparitions, she has asked us to pray the Holy Rosary so as to be granted peace and avoid war. Thus, my dear friends, all together let us say, full of confidence, sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, save us. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit descend upon you all and remain with you forever. Amen.